Juan Taxonomies for Oracle Universal Content Management and Oracle Secure Enterprise Search 11G. Taxonomy Simplified. What is a taxonomy? A taxonomy is a data model for unstructured information. If I said to you, I'm going to be fine to the Big Apple next week. The human brain understands that the Big Apple means New York City. And New York City is a city in a state. A state is a narrower term to a country. And a country is a narrower term to a continent. The human brain organizes information using implicit taxonomies. We just very briefly developed a taxonomy for geography. Continents, countries, states, cities. This is how the human brain automatically organizes information based upon all of the knowledge that the human brain has acquired since we were born. So implicit taxonomies are how the human brain organizes information. The explicit taxonomies that WAND has developed for the data facet solution are representations of how the human brain and enterprises organize information. The explicit taxonomies are used in Oracle Universal Content Management and Secure Enterprise Search for tagging documents to organize them for indexing and search retrieval. Let's start with an overview of the WAN taxonomy. The base of the WAN taxonomy is the WAN preferred term code. It's just a number, one, two, three, four, five, six. We then think of a concept, attorneys, legal services, law offices, solicitors, barristers. Those words all mean the same thing. From those words, we select one of them attorneys to be our preferred term. We then associate to the term attorneys the synonyms. So we're starting now to build a thesaurus. We then add to that extended terms, terms that are not exact synonyms to attorneys, but terms that when used by people or when used within the enterprise, we have a reasonable degree of confidence that people are thinking of the concept attorneys. So what we have now is an expanded thesaurus incorporating the terms that the enterprise uses. We then translate the preferred terms to 13 different languages and add appropriate levels of synonyms and extended terms to those languages. We now have a multilingual expanded thesaurus. This enables us to index documents and to search documents in multiple languages, meaning the same concept. A taxonomy is a hierarchy. Remember we were talking about geography, broader terms, countries, continents, narrower terms, states, cities. If we think of the preferred term code now being golf equipment, broader terms would be sporting goods equipment. Narrower terms to golf equipment, golf balls, golf clubs, golf tees, golf bags. Again, taxonomies organize the domain of golf equipment. If we go all the way up to sporting goods equipment, narrower terms to sporting goods equipment, cycling equipment, football equipment is an example, basketball equipment, all of these terms are narrower terms to sporting goods equipment. And this is a taxonomy that describes the domain of sporting goods equipment. So the WAN taxonomies are simply representations of how we organize geography, how we organize sporting goods equipment, or how we organize food and beverage domains of information, or oil and gas domains of information, or pharmaceutical and other topics. WAN taxonomies cover all enterprise domains of information. The WAN taxonomies cover the products and services that the enterprise sells. Whether it's food and beverage, 
oil and gas, environmental, fashion and apparel, government, industrial equipment and supplies, any of these topics, WAND provides taxonomies that can address the products and services that a company sells. Additionally, WAND has taxonomies that cover all of the operational areas of the enterprise, marketing services, human resources, engineering services, any of the operational areas, WAND has taxonomies to address document sets for these categories of information. Now we would like to introduce the Data Facet Solution for Enterprise Content Management. Two different slides describe the philosophy of our Data Facet Solution. Recognize, organize, and innovate. Recognize the hidden value in your enterprise content. Organize the valuable institutional knowledge and innovate with the discovered intelligence. The macro philosophy. Number one, provide a curated foundation taxonomy for enterprise knowledge domains. If we have documents about food and beverage, we provide food and beverage taxonomies. Construction documents, construction taxonomies. Second, provide auto classification of documents to the taxonomies when they're checked in individually or in bulk into universal content management. Number three, provide taxonomy management tools to customize and perfect the foundation taxonomies. Number four, provide intuitive navigation and information discovery of the enterprise documents. And the end result is extraordinary relevance of the search results for the enterprise user. Now let's review the Data Facet Enterprise Content Management Workflow. Step one, we start with a curated foundation taxonomy built from our portfolio of pre-built taxonomies. Step two, we augment and extend, we customize the foundation taxonomy for your specific business terms and concepts. Step three, we further refine the taxonomy with real-time interaction against sample documents. We test the classification rules and fine-tune the taxonomy results even further. Step four, we publish the tailored taxonomy to the taxonomy service. This is the auto classification service and the taxonomy service waits to be called from the annotator. Step five, documents are checked in either individually or in bulk into universal content management. The data facet annotator detects the check-in and passes the document to the auto classification service. The taxonomy service matches the taxonomy rules and returns a list of categories to the annotator. The annotator adds the taxonomy information to the document metadata. The tag documents are added to the content repository where the new taxonomy metadata is available for use. The repository is periodically indexed or published to provide searching and faceted navigation using the full text and the taxonomy metadata. The end result extraordinary relevance for the end users. The Data Facet solution helps users find what they know and discover what they don't know. Now, let's take a quick look at the Taxonomy Manager and see how easy it is to use. We have already loaded in the Food and Beverage Taxonomy. Here are the different narrower terms. We can look at the different nodes of the Food and Beverage Taxonomy beverages, soft drinks, carbonated drinks. The term carbonated drinks and the various synonyms for carbonated drinks appear in our screen. On the left-hand pane, we can add additional nodes. We can delete nodes. We can copy nodes and move them around the taxonomy based upon how our enterprise organizes information. 
in the middle pane, we're able to look at the rules that are being used by the auto classifier when it's analyzing the text of documents being checked in. Down below, we can see the number of documents in our sample collection. We can click on one of the documents and we can see what the document looks like from a web view, from a properties view, the matching categories, the plain text, and an explanation of the query. Based upon all of this information, we're able to customize the rules further, create include rules, exclude rules, proximity rules, and others. Quick summary, the taxonomy manager, very easy to use, very user-friendly. We can customize the taxonomy structure, and in the middle pane, we're able to have full information of what documents are being returned, and we can create additional rules to refine the result sets that are being returned even further. Now that we've customized our food and beverage taxonomy, we're now going to check in documents into Universal Content Management. It's as easy as drag and drop. We drag a document, drop it in to Universal Content Management. The Auto Classification Service has added to the taxonomy metadata. The document that we've just checked in has now been indexed and now can be found using any one of these terms within the Data Facet solution. Data Facet for Oracle Universal Content Management and Oracle Secure Enterprise Search. Number one, auto classification. It's widely known that enterprise workers don't want to take the time to manually tag documents when they're checked into the content management system. The Data Facet solution solves that problem. During the check-in process, the documents are automatically classified to a consistent and accurate taxonomy describing that domain of information. Another major feature of the Data FASA solution, foundation taxonomies, covering all different areas of the enterprise. These taxonomies can be used out of the box immediately for classification of documents. Next, powerful taxonomy management tools enable the customization of the foundation taxonomies to exactly how the enterprise organizes information. When Juan began the development of the Data Fastest solution for Oracle 11G, we worked closely with Oracle engineers to integrate the most efficient integration of Data Facet with Oracle applications. Faceted search and navigation, another powerful feature of the Data Facet solution, enabling the information worker to navigate using the taxonomies to find documents that they're looking for, concepts that they're looking for, and concepts that they hadn't thought of. The Data Facet powerful tagging engine enables flexible tagging using a powerful full text query language complete with Boolean, proximity, and fielded search capabilities. Another powerful feature of the Data Facet solution, multi-language support. The Data Facet Foundation taxonomies are available in 13 languages, including English, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, Simplified Chinese, Traditional Chinese, French, Korean, German, Italian, Vietnamese. Enterprises that have documents in multiple languages can take advantage of this powerful multilingual capability. On behalf of all of us at Data Facet, thank you very much for your attention and interest today. We hope that this presentation has been useful and we look forward to working with you in the future.